Hi everyone, in the last video we uh, added some proper constraints to this thigh. Uh, in this video I want to add the, the remaining bodies of this leg and uh, just give you a few more tips. So if we go back into the body mode, we want to actually add uh, a body for this calf. So let's just close this. So under thigh we have the calf, so double click on that, change it to fill, and uh, this actually looks uh, pretty good, so uh, we can go ahead and simulate this if you want to see what it looks like, but you can see it's already kind of doing the wrong thing. Uh, so let's go into the constraint mode. And uh, actually, one, one thing I should I should talk about before that is uh, a little bit more about selected simulation. So right now you can see I have selected simulation on, and if I hit simulate, only the calf moves. Uh, the way selected simulation works is it's it's fixing whatever is higher up in the hierarchy. So if I have the thigh selected, and hit simulate. Now you see both the th the thigh and the calf. So that's just something to, to be aware of. Uh, so anyway, let's let's uh, fix the calf here. So if we go to constraint mode and we select this joint, uh, you can see that everything is free. So let's make it all locked. Now um, we're pretty much going to do exactly what we did before, but I just want to give you a, a bit of a shortcut. So if you hit one on the keyboard. Uh, you can toggle one on and off, and it will actually change from limited to locked on this, and same with two. So this is kind of useful to be able to easily switch back and forth. Uh, so anyway, let's let's start with this. So we'll hit one, and again, I like to rotate this so that it's going into the leg. Uh, and if we hit simulate, uh, and actually no gravity simulate is a bit nicer, we can see that this calf goes forward too much. So let's just go ahead and, and fix that. Oops. Um, and this is just like before. We have this yellow which can swing forward and backwards, but we we really only want the, the limit to go backwards. So I just rotate this without holding Alt. So now if I do this and I hit Simulate, uh, you can see there's a little bit of forward movement, but it's it's mainly just going back. And that's that's pretty much exactly what we want. So now, if we go into uh, this and we we click, actually, let's just let's just go back to body mode. So if I do the selected simulation on the, the thigh, uh, I can actually move the entire leg now. And the knee is always really easy because it's just one uh, one axis of rotation. Uh, so that's done. Let's add the the foot. So we'll go here. And you see there's this foot and there's a ball. I'm not going to bother with the ball, I'm just going to add the foot. So double click on that. And I'm actually going to use a box for this. So we got a box and we want to rotate this a little bit. And uh, I mean, I should, I should uh, probably say, you know, I'm not an artist. I'm sure some artists are watching this and they're cringing at the, the way that I'm setting this up. But uh, yeah, so just, just keep that in mind. Uh, okay, so we have the foot, and now if we go back into the constraint mode, select this, uh, we can hit enter, we can see how it's moving, not very good, so now I'm going to lock everything, and now if I hit 1 and E, and now I hold alt because I want to rotate the, the yellow into the foot. Um, I can, can do that. So we want the leg to be able to, actually, sorry, let's, it's easier to think about it if we go this way. So yeah, that's, I think that's a, an important key is you should always have your yellow line sort of aligned with the body. Otherwise it's kind of hard to visualize. Uh, so yeah, we want, we want the leg to be able to go a little bit up, but mostly down. So now I don't hold alt. I, rotate this like so, and now if I hit simulate, uh, I can move that way, and a little bit that way. Um, and oops. and now I want to be able to do the other axis, so I hit one again to, to lock it, I hit oops, two to get the other, uh, the other axis, and now if I hit simulate, you can see that the foot snaps, and the reason for that is that uh, the yellow is over here, but we've temporarily turned off the limit. So 
uh, it, it has to, to go in there. But don't worry about that because once you turn this back on, it's going to be fine. So uh, just something to be aware of if, if you hit, uh, if you lock and you're getting snaps. So anyway, so if we, if we play this, you can see the leg is moving like that, which is, I don't know, maybe a little bit too much. So let's change that to like 25. Hit simulate. Uh, now we get that. Okay, so now if I hit one again, you can see I get both axes and the 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 full range of the, the foot is available. So now you can see this nice movement. And uh, if we want to see a little bit more, I go into uh, click on this the thigh, and we can see you know the entire leg moving around. And if we want maybe some gravity, oops, uh, we can see. Um, and you can see that the foot is rotating quite a bit. I'm going to get to this in a future video, uh, so just stay tuned for that. Uh, in the upcoming video, I'm just going to quickly duplicate the leg here and talk a little bit about that. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you stay tuned. Bye.